So in today's video, it's about five things that I wish I knew before I started the gym. And if I knew some of these things, like it would have helped me so much. So I hope this video can help somebody. Even if you've just started or you've been going for a while, you can still use this video to your advantage because you're constantly learning new things every day, especially when it comes to stuff like this as well. So drop me a like, drop me a comment and let me know what you think of today's video. Enjoy. So the first point I've got is do your research. So what I mean is do your research on your exercises. So learn what exercises you need to do to work out a certain muscle group. Then your nutrition as well. Research about your nutrition. How much protein do you need? How much carbs do you need? How much fats do you need? How many calories do you need to eat to put on weight or lose weight? It's all research and it's only all going to better your results in the long run really. So this one is important. Always keep learning. I'll keep learning to this day. What are you saying? In that book in there, yeah? All right, mate. Are you sure this is the right book? Because I don't want to be looking like a twat here. Mate, you're taking the piss. You said if I read this, I'll be able to find all the exercises I need. And it's a load of fucking bollocks. Mate, you're always having me on here. Look, he says, use your white clean pen to trace this cute picture of the squirrel. I wanted to fucking put muscle on, not do fucking activities on some princess shit. You twat. Fuck me, man. Fuck off. Two thousand years later. Mate, are you got a fucking belt for them trousers or something at all? What? Yo, you talking to me, bro? Are you fucking dizzy or something? Don't fucking wrap that belt around your mom's neck last night, you fucking dickhead. Don't ever talk to me like that again. Yo, wait there, hold a second, I'm gonna do with you in a second, you know. Dickhead. You know what bro? I'm going to allow you. I'm going to go and get some protein. And I'm going to fuck you up in a few months when I get massive. You fucking skinny youth. You, put muscle on and get big. That'll be fucking saft. I saw more meat on my fucking Sunday dinner than you. You little fucking skinny rag. Mate, do you need um do you need 991 or something? Do you look like you're having a seizure or something? Are you good? Because now nah, just honestly though, just stop using heavy resistant bands, man. Just use lighter ones and get the form right before you start putting the weight on. Because look, you it's clearly too heavy for you. That's why you're doing it fast to try and get the weight off. Just go lighter, man. Honestly, it's gonna help you in the long run, honestly. I'm trying to give you some advice, you know what I mean? Listen, mate. I've been lifting weights since you've been in fucking nappies. Don't tell me how to lift weights, mate. Cause I swear to God, I'll get fucking mad. You what? You want to get fucking mad or something, what? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't hurt me. Sorry. So the next point I forgot is don't compare yourself to others. And it's important, man. Like, even in general life, but I'm going to keep it relevant to the gym. When you're on Instagram or you're on YouTube or you're in the gym itself, don't compare yourself to other people because if you're comparing yourself, it's like you're not you're thinking you're not doing good enough and it's not even the case. It's just these people that you're comparing yourself to are either one, taking steroids, but two, they've been there for longer. So if they've been there five or ten years, you can't really compare your results to them because you might have only been gone for like a year and it's just a, like it's just general life if someone's been doing something for longer they can have better results than you just because they've been doing it for longer that's the only thing i can really say you just don't compare yourself to others yes you can look at them and take inspiration and motivation but don't compare yourself to others 
and that's in life and with the gym especially when it comes to results okay so the last point is have a workout program and it's important to have a workout program like it really is man like i used to go to the gym every day and i swear to god i done chest about 20 times a week bro like honestly man like i didn't really know what i was doing until i realized the importance of just having a program like it gives you routine and you know what muscle groups you're working as well with the program so if you don't really know what you're doing like that much and you don't know what exercise is that's where a program's going to help you like it will tell you um what exercise you're doing and what muscle group it's working it gives you a good routine so when you go in the gym you know what to look for you're a wasting time and you're more likely to be consistent as well when you have a workout program so honestly it's going to make life a lot easier i really recommend that one but this is the end of today's video so i hope you've enjoyed um some of the clips that i've done man because i ain't done like anything like the clips i've done in this video before so i hope that you find it funny like i really do try and put my personality but it's weird man speaking to a camera like i've never done anything like this in my life but i do enjoy it. so leave me a like leave me a comment and I'll be uploading next week. So enjoy the rest of your week. And you best get your ass off. The fucking settee. Stop watching Netflix. And go and work out. Enjoy the rest of your week.